Alright everybody, just a few minutes ago, I just finished watching the latest Boondocks episode, Granddad Dates with Kardashian. Um, you know, I thought this episode was going to be whack, it's kind of alright. Um, the Kardashian he dates is Kardashian, Kardashian. And to me, at first, I couldn't decide which which Kardashian in real life are they are they mocking, and I was stuck between Chloe and Kim. And I think, after, after watching the whole video... I think they talking about um, Kim Kardashian. They were they were making fun of all the Kardashians got big butts and that they're fake. And I feel like that, you know, it might be fake on them, but everybody know, all guys know that it looks, you know, it looks good for them to have to, have, to make it look like that. Um, another thing I noticed um, at the end, they found out she wasn't any real a uh, Kardashian. She said she was half sister. Okay, um, this guy named Bench Kardashian, I think he was supposed to be Rob, character in the uh, Kardashian in real life, and you know, everybody know that Rob has gained a lot of weight recently, and I think they were mocking his, his character as well. And then you have this assistant, or uh, friend that Kardashian, Kardashian, Kardashian had, which, it was, which her name was Brownie Point. And I still couldn't figure out which person in real life of the Kardashians friend that they're trying to mock. If y'all if y'all know, just let me know in the comment section below. Um another thing I'll point out that Granddad he made a lot of money off of, you know, if they show got picked up for a pilot. Just as we noticed at the beginning of the episode, it shows us that they're working on you know, a little reality show, and it shows, and it tells us at the beginning that that's the reason why it didn't get aired, and we see that. Uh, we see an old lady that Huey and Riley are getting fond of, especially Huey. He loves the fact that back in the day that she did all these crazy things, she lived a long life, and that this fake Kardashian got all the limelight, and nobody, not no doctors were around to take care of her until at the end, and she started making up a fake story for she can get on air for her last minutes or hours until she die. I want her time for her to die. Um, I can't say that she was cool, she was good with the boys. She bought them game systems. Not a, she bought Huey, not Huey, but she bought Riley a laptop. She bought Riley uh, was it a PS um, Vita or something like that. She bought him a game system. They had a tent that, that Riley slept in um, until they found out when well, Huey investigated it. He took Huey Riley's phone and put it underneath the car to find out where was she going to get her, her butt kept getting bigger and bigger over every during the minutes of the episode. And he traces it back until he sees the place where this man injects the women, the the girl butt to get it bigger. And the only reason she said she did that just to be famous on the on the show for her show to get picked up and get money. And like I said before, the reason why that she kept doing that because she wanted to make money and make fun of the car, keeping up with the Kardashians, you know. Um, what can I say about that? Um, um like I said. It's it, like I said, basically just making fun of like, keeping up Kardashians, the documentary, the, the airs on Bravo. Um, what can I say about that? Um, I know Riley during the time he kept saying he was hungry and took the old lady food. That was another funny point about it. And old Uncle Ruckus, and we always seen before, always racism. He was talking about Granddad messing with that beautiful white woman saying that he only did it for the money which really that was all he was doing it before but uncle Rucky, he was just stirring up trouble saying what he said and in another scene that when granddad took kardashian kardashian out to eat her butt exploded which called her to get passed out knocked out and the doctor said that since this has happened that it's kind of hard to say what's going to happen to her next but the doctors were looking for her to die i can tell that and she was on, she had that, she was on the machine. Everybody kept saying pull the plug, pull the plug. But granddad sent for the big payout, payout deal for him. He didn't, he wanted to keep it on long as possible. Um, and then when they found out she was fake, the funny thing was, granddad took the ring off her finger, took a little little um watch, bracelet, whatever thing was off her finger, and just left. 
As soon as she left, she died. Um, the older la older lady, she she got the limelight. Um, another thing they said about Kardashian, Kardashian, she was Armenian. Uh, and I was I was shocked by that. And another point I would say, when Kardashian, Kardashian was in the hospital, a little girl came in with her picture. I don't know if that was her child or that was a fan who saw her in there and just got really upset about how she looked and just ran out and left. Um, what can I say about that? Um, and the guy bench bench Kardashian, Kardashian, the character that was up there, he wasn't even a real brother. He was just like I said, he was doing it for the money also. Uh, when they found out her blood type was AB positive, AB negative. They know then they said, wait, they said all the Kardashian have O negative, which was another reference with the Kardashian. Um, and everybody left and went to that woman so they can get picked up for an episode. Most of this episode, just mainly, if, if you watch it real clearly and know all the elements that it's showing, it's just mainly talking about another way for Granddad to get some money. And he took this on. And he made sure that even when she would Kardashian, Kardashian were knocking out stuff in the house. He didn't care because he was getting paid for doing that. And we can see when she died, the money, the money left. Now, as I saw the preview for the following episode that aired next Monday night at 10:30 p.m., it shows them in like a being made fun of in like a carnival museum. It showed them a lot, lot of doing slavery. That's how it seemed like look, seemed like it looks. Um, you see Uncle Ruckus, he's doing his thing again. And for everybody to know, this this episode, Granddad dates a Kardashian the sixth episode. The next episode going to be the seventh. So they claim when they get to ten, this season over with. Which, I, like I said, I would love to see how it wraps up. I, want it, I wish it, I hope it doesn't, like, I hope it ends on a good note. And let me know if they change the episodes because I think it's only 10. That's what I saw on the internet. They might go back to 20. Who knows? But I want to see how this show wraps up. Because um, since Air Met Girl are gone, I'm looking for these people who did season 4 of the Boondocks work hard on every little thing that Air Met Girl did. Do not go too far out of bounds. But at the same time, focus on the true thing behind the Boondocks. Which is funny, comedy. With Uncle Ruckus, we got a little racism involved with it. Just stay on edge, stay with what we, what the um, people want out of this show. And um, this is my review for Granddad Dates uh, Kardashian. I hope, hope you like it. P please like, subscribe, comment, rate, anything. If you don't like something, that's tell everybody. All right, I'm out.